Now, you've made it this far. Fortunately, because light therapy is so safe, this chapter will be very short. There are certain safety practices that must be kept in mind when using photobiomodulation. These safety practices aren't only meant to prevent injury, but also to support maximum therapeutic benefit. Although photobiomodulation is highly beneficial for eye health, certain individuals with light sensitivity should take precautions by wearing goggles. Certain medications, both oral and topical, can cause photosensitivity to the skin. This can lead to temporary redness, itching, burning. A few examples are lithium, melatonin, retinol, certain antipsychotic medications, or antibiotics. This is a very case-by-case -case basis, but if the sun is causing skin issues while on these medications, it's likely that red light therapy will have a similar effect. Certain individuals suffer from the flashing or strobe effect of light. This can cause headaches, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and even seizures. If you know that flashing light causes you issues, it is best to choose a non-pulsed device. There's a certain point where too much of a good thing can have a negative effect. This is the case with light. More is not necessarily better. So follow the manufacturer recommendations, but know there is a wide window of therapeutic benefit before you reach the too much threshold. Herc's response. Remember when we discussed hormesis, like exercising, doing a little a day is a good thing. But if you're a couch potato, getting up and running 10 miles will likely leave you feeling pretty rough. The same goes with light. If you do too much right out of the gate, your body is not yet conditioned to handle the changes. This can lead to a headache or a feeling of achiness and lethargy for a day or two. You will quickly recover, but it's always recommended to start slow and gradually build your session time up over a couple weeks. So just a couple minutes per body area is a good place to start. Add a minute each session as long as you're feeling good until you reach the max recommendation. If you do feel poorly, take a couple days off and start slow again. The more toxicity your body may have or the more unhealthy your body may be, the slower you should go. And always drink plenty of clean water to help flush the system. Although there has been positive studies on animals showing a shrinkage of tumors and long-term studies on humans showing no increase in death rates, they are still not quite ready to recommend using light directly over cancer or precancerous cells. That being said, light is very beneficial for cancer patients following chemo and radiation and is hugely beneficial for oral mucositis. One of the leading voices in photobiomodulation, Michael Hamlin, wrote in 2018, although there are a few articles suggesting that photobiomodulation therapy can be detrimental in animal models of tumors. There are also many articles that suggest the opposite and that light can directly damage the tumor, can potentiate other cancer therapies, and can stimulate the host immune system. Moreover, there are two clinical trials showing increased survival in cancer patients who receive photobiomodulation therapy. Conclusion, Photobiomodulation therapy may have benefits in cancer patients and should be further investigated. Pregnancy. Although there are no studies contradicting use of light while pregnant, it is recommended not to put light directly on the belly region. I believe we will soon have studies showing no ill effects, but rather positive results for both the mother and child. If you are pregnant, you can certainly use light everywhere else, but as always, consult your doctor first. And here we have come to the end. There's certainly tons to learn about photobiomodulation. In this course, we focused on the basics of light and light therapy with the goal to give you a good starting point that will hopefully lead you further into this burgeoning field. We certainly hope that you take the information we've given you in this intro to light therapy course and use it to make knowledgeable decisions to utilize the benefits of light for your health and the health 
of your loved ones. Bye for now.